Hey, it's Whitney from ecovegangal.com and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics which is massages. I love massages so much and I cannot believe I've never done a video on this before because massages have so many health benefits. Did you know that massages can help you reduce anxiety, if you have a sleep disorder like insomnia, they can even help with headaches, all of that on top of getting rid of your aches and pains. Massages are magical. But I find that a lot of people don't do massages because they think that they're too expensive or they don't need to do them or some people just don't even think about getting them. I think it's time for that to change. So I want to talk about that today. I want to talk about my most recent massage experience and how that kind of shifted my perspective on massages. And I want to give you a few tips on how to make the most out of a massage for yourself. There are all different types of massages that you can get. This can run as simple as getting a chair massage at some place like Whole Foods or the mall. They charge about a dollar to two dollars and a minute, which sounds really cheap until you do the math, that's actually $60 to $120 an hour. That's on the pricier side and it's not even a full body massage. Plus you're in like some really busy area and it's loud and noisy, you can't really relax. But those are really nice if you need like a quick stress reducer. You could get a massage at a discounted massage shop or, or a place, whatever you want to call, call them. There are all sorts of chains all across the United States and probably outside the country too that will give you a massage for as little as like $35 on the super low end, upwards of like $60, somewhere in between there for an hour long massage. And these are really great if you're on a super tight budget and you want a, a pretty decent massage experience. There just aren't any bells and whistles, any other special aspects of it aside from just the massage work. Now if you do want like a really nice treat, then there are like the spa-like massages which you'll usually find at nicer hotels, someplace where you're on vacation, and those tend to get pretty pricey. Those are almost always over $100 an hour, they're done in like some exotic location and usually they have super highly trained massage therapists there and they've got all the bells and whistles. They've got candles, they've got incredible music, they have really nice sheets and, and all sorts of like nice lotions and I don't know, all sorts of other things I can't imagine because I've only had a couple of those in my life. And lastly, there's the in-home massage. I always thought that they were limited to people that had a lot of money, but then recently I started to find out about some new services that are popping up in some of the major US cities that offer these in-home uh, massages at great prices. And one of them actually contacted me, which is what inspired me to do this video. They asked if I would review their services service and they are called Soothe. Now Soothe offers these in-home massages for $99 total which includes the tip. They come to your house, they'll come on demand, so they'll come within the hour to wherever you live as long as you're in one of the cities that they're currently servicing. I tried them out and I had the most fantastic experience with this. I've been getting massages for years and I'll usually go to the kind of discounted massage places. I'll spend an average of 50 or $60 to get an hour massage, but I've never been blown away. And I was doing these thinking, these aren't really making that much of a difference in my body and I feel kind of stressed, like having to drive there. They never seem to have appointments when I really want them. And they just, the people that, the massage therapists there just don't seem that into it. So I would leave feeling like it was just this temporary relief that I spent 50 or $60 on. That was not the case with Sue. I signed up, had the therapist come to my home, she set up her table, and I live in a pretty small place, so I was amazed there was even room for a massage table here. And I had the most magical experience. I got to control the lighting, the music, we talked about the lotions that she had. I got to use my own shower before I had the massage. It adds a little bit of a level of stress going somewhere else and that's completely reduced when they come to your home. And I felt more relaxed than I ever have before with the massage in the past. It was amazing 
and it was pretty affordable. Because it included the tip, that massage probably would have cost about $80 without a tip, and then you add a 20 tip on top of it. I actually think that's really not so bad. The total comes out to be just around double what I've paid at the other massages. I want to put this into perspective because I know many of you are concerned about money. My feeling was I'd rather pay double and get half the amount of massages per year than I was before to have that type of experience. So it's kind of that quality over quantity. And I know that's so important to many of you out there. You buy really great food, you buy gr high quality clothing, you buy high quality products because they make such a difference in your life. And that's why I thought that you would appreciate knowing about this. So now I've got you all excited about getting a massage. I'll leave you a link to Soothe down below in the description field so that you can check it out too or go find something similar around you. Let me give you a few tips for making the most out of your massage. Number one, so important is to shower. You wanna make sure that you're clean and you smell good, not just for yourself, but for the massage therapist. You don't wanna be all stinky when you're on the massage table. That is just not nice. <laughs> Same thing, for ladies especially. Shave your legs. It's a little bit awkward when they're working on your legs and you have you're kind of hairy down there. Bring your own filtered water in a reusable water bottle. This is eco-friendly, this is healthy. A lot of massage places have water there, but it might not be filtered or it might come in plastic. You do want to make sure that you stay hydrated after the massage because they're moving around your muscles and all the, the acids in your body. It really helps to wear some loose clothing. So I like to wear just a dress that I can easily take off and put back on after the massage. It's no fun to wear a ton of clothes that you have to zip up and put on all these different layers. But hey, if you get an in-home massage, you can just wear your robe around and take it on and off because you're at home. You can wear whatever you want. I really advise not eating before the massage or even within the hour or two before the massage because it's really awkward if you're digesting your food while they're working on, on you. It's best to have an empty stomach and then eat something really good when you're done. And if you're really sensitive to fragrances or any sort of lotions, you might wanna call ahead or bring your own with you if you're going somewhere to get a massage. And if they're coming to you, then you have full control over it. If you have nasal sensitivities like I do, I find it really helpful to do a neti pot nasal rinse and just flush out my sinuses before the massage so I reduce that chance of me sneezing or needing to blow my nose. And I always have a, a tissue or a handkerchief around just in case I need to use it. And those are my tips for having a successful massage. I hope you felt so inspired in this video to get one. Add that to your list, whether it's something you wanna save up for, or something that you wanna ask for as a gift, or even gift to someone else. Massages are such a treat. They're really wonderful for our bodies. I would love to hear from you now. What is your favorite type of massage? There's all different types. There's Swedish, there's Thai, there's deep tissue, there's sports massages. When you do get massages, what kind do you get and why? And also, where is the best massage that you've ever had in your life or someone that you keep going back to because you love them so much? Lastly, have you ever had an in-home massage and would you try a company like Soothe? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if this is your first time watching the video, I hope you enjoyed this and if you wanna see more like this, please subscribe so you're the first to know when I have more content about healthy, happy living. There is tons of content, speaking of which, at ecovegangal.com so check out the link for all sorts of information about having a great life. And I would love to see you on social media. Come find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, wherever you like to hang out. I would love to see you there and chat with you, keep in touch with you there too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.